Yo, shout out to the baby. conference room. This is Trent and Topic, Young King Prodigy. Y'all just tuned in to the first episode. We're going crazy. It's acting. Look, I want you to bring it back a little bit. What made you even start getting into rap? Like, what made you say, like, damn, I can make a song? Shit, to be honest, I don't know. Uh, My older cousin, he was doing music. So, you know, that was like a big brother to me. So, mm -hmm. I started doing music. I fell in love with it. I was like, damn, I'm like, I could really like, make a song for it. So that. I just started making music for it. I hit the studio probably when I was like 16. What was your first song? Uh, my first song was Rags to Riches. That shit. Yeah, that shit was like, I can't remember Rags to Riches, but that's the baddest. But I just want you. Drop top cool, but I'm on with you. Ah, yo, yo, boy. I was in college, the wild with that song. Oh, okay. cash. So, at what point, that, what point did you know, like, damn, I want to take this shit serious? When I was in college and all the girls kept coming up to me talking about, oh my God, probably can I take a picture with you? I was like, damn, this is it right here. No cap, I'm taking pictures. They're like, can I get in the picture? I'm like, damn, nah, it's fine. You know how I'm performed. Uh, my first performance was over 100 people, so mm -hmm. it was all fucking was with that? It was uh, like when I was in college, I had, you know, they signed me up for like a talent show or whatever. Okay. So I popped out, hopped on stage. I jumped off stage. Girls coming up to me, shaking my hand. Girls, all flashes on. I'm like, yo, it's like, I can really do this shit for real. So I was like, damn. Like, so that's what like, that's what called you to the game, and like, uh, yeah. the attention. Yeah, the attention. You know, um, doing it for my family, like giving them better. You know, saying, you know, y'all can really chase y'all dreams and everything. Like, even if I gotta start it for y'all, like, for me, I'm gonna help y'all everywhere I can. So, you know, come through, boom, my show, and what y'all can do. You know, it's been a blessing so far, so, and they seen that shit, so. And yeah, we gonna get into that, because I see you do a lot. But when you when you first got into the music, how was your recording process? How did you get into the studio? Did you have the money for the studio already, or was you? I was saving money. You feel me? I was on some shit where, you know, your parents would, uh, like, they'll send you to the store. Mm -hmm. I used to keep the chains, and I used to just stack up the chain, and then I was like, all right, I got enough for the studio. Let me hit the studio. I ain't gonna lie, I started, for me, my first song was, you know, it was like that. So I was like, all right, hold on. Then after that, it was like a learning process. I got a song that I had did where I mixed the, the verse and the hook. So my hook was dumb long and my verse mm -hmm. was like eight bars. And I'm like, nah, hold on. <laughs> so you <laughs> first started, you ain't gonna structure your song. I don't know why I know how to structure that shit. And what got you into that process? Uh, Just like, you know, continuously keeping me going to the studio, like really trying to put a song together. Like before, you know, it used to be a basic structure where it was hook, verse, hook, verse. Now, you know, the intro, you know, the intro, you know, the intro, you know, all that. It's like really like structure wise. So that's what really got me right there. And how far did that first single bring you? So you got me a lot of recognition. I ain't gonna hold you. I was like, growing up, I was around the right people, like, especially with the music shit, you know, Patterson, everybody, you know, do music, rap, and all this. So I was around, you know, the right people, certain people, and everything like that. I was always good with networking, so you know I know a lot of industry people. So that was like, yeah. Like, when you when you first came in, did you have like did you have a crew with you? Or who were you with? Uh, when I first came in, I was with a team and shit. So for me, like it was like a management team. So I was okay. rocking with them for a long, for a little minute and shit. You know, shit that happened. So did you see your your, your career progress doing that management? Yeah, no, nah, it definitely did. Like, it was like, that was when it was like the learning process. So it was mm -hmm. like, for me, I started seeing everybody around me, you know, even like people that wasn't with the team that was still fucking with me for me. Mm -hmm. I was like, all right, bet. Like, I, I learned a lot of shit from being around people. So that's where it really came from. So yeah, like I progressed a lot. Now, you know, I'm doing it on my own and shit, so. So one of the things you learned from having a man in the team instead of being on your own, like, what, did you notice the difference? Um, yeah, because everybody around me was already doing shit from that long. So it was like, I'm not just starting out like, like nobody tip shit. Like, I gotta learn everything. Like, I used to sit there and pay attention. And I'm like, oh, wow, he do it like this, he do it like this, that person do it like this. So I'm like, all right, bet, let me take the good from everybody and shit. Cause if you don't sit there and do that, then you just taking failures from not learning from the people around you. Like, they don't fail already, so. They doing it because of a certain type of way, so that's really what it was. Now, when you um, when you was coming up with it, you were your first single. Did you come into like a lot of um, 
you know, like the upcoming artist scams where you get a show or whatever it is? Nah, to be honest, I didn't. So hell that. no, I was, man, I was always cautious. Because I, I was already moving with certain people that was doing, like, shows, like, crazy, going crazy. So I'm like, I bet, you know, this might not be worth it and show you. But, you feel me, at that day, yeah, it, it still do happen now. You feel me? So, like, I don't went to South by Southwest. I don't hit, you know, bad shows or whatever. Talk about that, how you get to South by Southwest. Uh, you know, said pressure down, me skipping pre right pressure down, hit me and said, yo, let's go to South by Southwest. I don't even know what the fuck that shit is. And then I started doing my research, feel me? So we hit hella stages out there, you know. It's a good ass experience being out there. It's, all, the network. it's all a networking. It's literally Miami, like South Beach. You see how that shit is lit? It's like that, but everybody out there do music or do something. Like so everybody's trying to hustle their way, network and all that. But you go outside, you see one of those live performances, like just walking down the street. And I was like, nah, this is fire. And then, you know, there's some people that's not even perform that venue they just perform in the street with a speaker. Now, now how's the love? Like is it like Jersey? Or is it like is it Out there, I ain't gonna hold you. It's mad love. Like for like everybody being an artist and shit, it's mm -hmm. definitely mad love. Like everybody out there is like, yo, you know I fuck with you, oh you fire. Like you feel me? So it's not like on no hate and shit where everybody, you know, just pulled to their own way and shit. So So you think out there is more love than out here? The city I don't know but Definitely the event and shit like that, yeah. But from New Jersey, you know, we be on, not we be on, but you know, Jersey. Now, nah, nah, wait, 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 because we can bring it to that conversation real quick. Do you think that Jersey is blackballed? Hell, what? Yeah. What? <laughs> I know hell of people that's blackballed. Jersey was in the seventh blackballed. You feel me? They over here playing New every New York artist on the radio, like. And people was just saying that too. Even when Uzi did the um, the, the, the Jersey Club, yeah, he just did. He shot the video in New York. Yeah, or, not one soul of Jersey in there. Like man, start that shit. Up. Like, fuck. They had Philly. They had New York. I'm like, damn, where Jersey at? Like, and it's crazy because Jersey still you know, support that shit so heavy. Hell uh, yeah, but you know what I think it is? I think it's that people think Jersey. I New York style. We definitely don't. And I, I you said would say take New York style. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. I, I, they say that we be jacking this shit. Yeah. They nah, 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 nah. They nah, say we, we be jacking this shit. And I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. New York create a lot of unique shit. That's why they pop. Everybody out there that really pop is either unique or you know regular shit like like drill music. They made that drill yeah. music. You feel me? So. Shit, they, they always create something new. That's why this shit always pop, but like, we don't get the recognition that we, when yeah, we create something. We create really pop. If they be like, oh, that pop. Right, so let me ask you this. We be in a shadow. Let me ask you this. Do you feel like Jersey has a sound? Everybody got their own sound in Jersey. We different. I promise you. No, does no. Jer that's not the question. That's not what yeah, I asked you. Jersey, Jersey, Jersey got Jersey clubs. Does Jersey, no, does Jersey have a sound? It, and it, yeah. it comes to hip hop. It like yeah, as, as together, as Jersey club, together, yeah. as Jersey together, no. Yes, we do. No, it's divided. The melodic sound. Nah. The whole mean, melodic sound. Nah. No. I don't think so. No. I think if you want to talk I about mean, Jersey I, sound, if you, you want to take that's a Patterson that you could technically be like that's a Patterson thing that it melodic shit around here because it's melodic. We have a melodic sound. Things so? over over because over. Newark don't sound like that though. Yes, you do. You got you got a lot of that too. Yes, you do. No, I'm not. Yes, you do. No, bro. No. But so, look, that's what I'm saying. That's why when you. When that's what I'm saying. The whole Jersey itself, like the whole thing, doesn't have one sound. When you talk about when you talk about New York rap, that's when you can say Jersey stole a style, maybe. The, the maybe the. How y'all how y'all come up with these uh, analytics based on how many rappers y'all hear or? Most of our rappers are melodic, melodic singers. Most of y'all rappers ain't rappers. It's the artists. Artists and artists. Man, I'm tired of that artist shit. What you mean? You are rap. you're a rapper. That's why you tired of it. They just can't but it's rap. Not, it doesn't because everybody's not a rapper. Rap. Everybody, what you mean? Everybody's not a rapper. Hey, listen, look. Let me explain something to you, right? Feel my shirt. I'm I'm a rapper. Uh huh. Like punchline rapper, like auto tune rapper, like melodic rapper. I've done records like that, smacked on all of them shit, right? I just stick with my style because this is my style. You're a rapper. You try right. No, this is my staff. What I'm saying is this is my staff. He could be a melodic. What would you consider him to be? Off the bat. If you had to say what is he? To music. What what is he? 
I'm a rapper. Yeah. He's a rapper. Yeah, well, we all know that. Ain't you a rapper? <laughs> no, he's an artist. artist. There's a big difference. All right, all right, so educate me right now. What's the artist? An artist can create, he can. He has the potential to rap, but that is not his style. Maybe his style is more of singing. Maybe his style is more of uh, Or uh, just writing music yeah, in general. Yeah, like he's an artist. Overall Maybe, artist. you know, maybe, like, that's not, like, I feel like people who do all, all of it, but that's, like, you're, like you, you're a rapper. You rap. Yeah, you might try to branch off to do a little, a little singing thing, but that's not what you're going to do. He might... This year he might rap, next year he might sing, the next year he might do club music. That's just that's just how it goes between an artist and a rapper. I feel like a rapper, you can sit there and be like, yo, freestyle. But we not, freestyle. but rappers exactly. are also, if you they diverse, they, like, exactly. they can do other shit, but like, rappers, in general, if you call yourself a rapper, you rap. Welcome to the conversation.